Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a case of a posterior lateral corner injury. And these are always difficult. I'm just going to run through some anatomy and show you how I attack a case like this. And of course, they're always difficult, and you always wonder if you have it right. But I think it's important to look for the big structures and maybe not get bogged down in the details of the finer things. There are some small things in the posterior lateral corner, like the fabello fibular ligament that comes off the f uh, fibular head, goes up to the fabella. Really fine thing. I never look for that, and I doubt other radiologists do because the other larger structures that are easier to see and more consistently seen uh, will probably be injured, and uh, so it may be a waste of energy to try to look for some subtle things like that. So you can just forget about that. Also, there's the arcuate ligament that comes off the back and it goes along the back uh, side. Blends, some people say, with the posterior joint capsule, but that's a very hard thing to see. I'm not sure if it's even definitely present. I've heard that, that it may not even uh, be a real structure. This may be part of the joint capsule or other ligaments. So this is something you can just forget about looking at and really concentrate on a few main things. Number one, the lateral collateral ligament complex, and that has the biceps, muscle, and tendon. And it comes down and blends with the fibular collateral ligament. So these two things on the outside blend together and they form a combined tendon called the conjoined tendon. I'll show you an example of that in a minute. And then the other thing I look for is the popliteus tendon and muscle is another just major structure out there that you definitely should look for in everybody. If those are okay, then the pressure is off. And there's another thing out here that I rarely look for, but uh, on occasion I do uh, look for that. It will, it's called the uh, popliteal fibular ligament. It goes around the popliteus tendon, it goes to the fibular head, and that's something that is in most patients, not all patients, and it's something that you don't have to look for uh, very hard unless you see uh, uh, injury of the other structures out there. So here we go. This is just a sagittal view here. We have the lateral femoral condyle, lateral tibial plateau. This is the front and back lateral meniscus, of course. Now right behind the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus, we see this vertical band. This is the popliteus tendon, and it comes off the femur over here, lateral femoral condyle. It goes down obliquely, goes vertically behind the posterior horn here, through the popliteus hiatus, we call this area here, and it keeps on coming down, here, down, down, here it is vertically, down. A lot of times you can see a little bit of fluid around it, and I'll say there's fluid that you know, extends into the popliteus hiatus. So here's the hiatus, a little bit of fluid, and we come down, and now here's the tendon, and this is the part of the muscle here. And on this view, we can see muscle and tendon. So again, we go from the muscle up, up, there it is vertically, and the popliteus hiatus vertically, here it is. And so that looks pretty good, the popliteus tendon. And now surrounding the popliteus tendon, we have the popliteal fibular ligament wraps around it, holds it tight in there. And there is some bright signal around the outside of it. So right where we'd expect to see a possibly a really dark band or just clean soft tissues, we see this brightness and irregularity. And I can't say that the popliteal fibular ligament is not torn. I believe it is torn. If we look at the fibular styloid here, we go over to this cut, we should see something coming up here, something vertically coming up behind that popliteus. And again, we don't see it, so I believe that popliteal fibular ligament is ruptured. And we'll look on the crawls as well to see. Now, behind the fibular head, we have the soleus. The soleus muscle comes off here, comes up and attaches. There's a little triangle of brightness right here. This is part of the soleus muscle attachment, so the soleus muscle is partially torn with a little bit of fluid right here at the back of the fibula. And then right next to that, above that on the fibular styloid, we have the conjoined tendon, which comes down and attaches. And we don't see a nice attachment of the conjoined tendon. It should be right here. But we see this gray. So this is a partial tear, a high-grade partial, maybe even a complete tear of the conjoined tendon. So we'll see these same things on the coronal view now. And this is pretty confusing in this anatomy, but it'll be a little bit more clear on the coronal images. Now here we are in the coronal images. Here's the lateral knee joint. Looking straight on, we see the lateral meniscus here, the body. Now just superficial to that, we see the popliteus tendon. It comes off right in here where there's a little crevice, a little concavity here. The popliteus tendon comes off and goes vertically down, down, and here it is right here. It looks like it blends with the meniscus. There's volume average together, but it's right here, and this is the meniscus. And they look inseparable, but they are separated. And here it is right here, the popliteus, and it comes down here obliquely, and then back here it turns into the muscle. So the popliteus tendon is intact. Now superficial to the popliteus tendon, we have the 
fibular collateral ligament. It comes off the femur and it comes down here, down here, and it will eventually attach to the fibular head. And the fibular collateral ligament is completely torn or high-grade partial or complete tear. I just see bright fluid signal in here, maybe some little strands of tendon, but a ruptured or high-grade partial uh, tear of the fibular collateral ligament. Again, we should see a nice well-defined band coming down here, down here. And the fibular collateral ligament will join with this up here. This is the biceps. The biceps is towards the back. We have a muscle coming down here. It comes down, down, and then it will join into the, uh, with the fibular collateral ligament down here. And when they come together, we call that the uh, conjoined tendon. And the conjoined tendon should be a nice dark band that comes down uniformly and attaches to the fibular head. But instead, the distal biceps is not really well seen. Again, the fibular collateral ligament we don't see. And the conjoined tendon is just a big glob of gray material here. So it looks like the conjoined tendon is either high-grade partial or complete tear, probably completely torn. Don't really see it. And there's this additional structure right here. There's a glob. The question is, what is that glob? I believe that may be the uh, popliteal fibular ligament that wraps around the fibula. I'm sorry, that wraps around the popliteus tendon. And that may be torn and just recoiled or retracted back upon itself. So this is a... Um, injury of the posterior lateral corner again with a ruptured or high grade partial tear of the fibular collateral ligament and the conjoined tendon here in this edema and also the popliteal fibular ligament right here this little glob is torn again that should wrap behind the fibula instead it's torn and pulled back to here and they also had a tear of their soleus muscle origin. We can see some of these things on axial images here this is the lateral side there's a bunch of gray material out here this is the popliteus tendon, and then the, sub, uh, the structure superficial to that, the conjoined tendon, which should be overlying it, is just gray and torn. This is the biceps here, and these things are going to join together. So the biceps muscle is up high. It's going to come down, down. There's this tendon, down, down, down. And then we get down to here, and the conjoined tendon is in this region. So the biceps and this fibular collateral ligament at this point have joined together. We can see it's just big and irregular. This is a high grade partial complete tear. We come down here, and it looks like it's away from the fibular head. Here's the uh, fibular styloid, and this uh, gray area is over here, so it looks like it's torn and retracted back a little bit and very poorly defined. And then the soleus, which is right here, if we go up to the very top of it, there's a little area of brightness right here where it attaches to bone. That's where that is partially torn right in this area. And over the superficial, or superficial to that partially torn muscle, the little linear band here, this is the common perineal nerve that, of course, is over here. And the common perineal nerve has a little bit of bright signal as it goes around the bend here. That could be a little magic angle phenomenon, but it also could be a stretch-type injury because the muscle is injured right beneath it. So it's maybe a neurological injury uh, as well. So that's a complicated case, but just a, a realistic case you may come up with, and you can see how... Difficult it is, and everybody struggles with these things, so just to know the basic anatomy and at least get the fundamentals, the lateral collateral ligament complex and also the popliteus uh, tendon and muscle are the really important structures out there. And uh, thank you very much.